force on the second object, the second object exerts an equal and opposite force on the first object. The force that is equal in strength and opposite in direction to the action force, which acts simultaneously on whatever is exerting the action force. Here we have our portable lumpy. <laughs> Waiting for directions. The Lumpy pushes on the machine. The machine pushes back on Lumpy with the same force in an opposite direction. I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it! Interaction is a mutual action between objects where each other exerts an equal and opposite force on each other. push on the table, it pushes back. An example of an action-reaction force is this bike. In order for it to move forward, the action force, this tire, pushes the ground this way. But the reaction force is the ground pushing back. So in order, and that makes the bike move. Move forward! Ah! Another form of interaction or reaction-action force, so I pull on the brakes, it stops the tire, stopping the bike. Action, reaction. Who's singing that? Action force. Earth pulling on the ball. Reaction. Ball pulling on the earth. Very simple, but sometimes can be complex. What? Do you understand it now? No. Yes! Basically, the action force is me dropping the ball. As I drop the ball, the reaction force is the earth pulling down on the ball and the ball pulling up on the earth. I can feel the physics! I can feel the physics! Who's singing this? <laughs> Basically, when I, my action force is pushing on this. The reaction force is this boat pushing back. But since there's nothing to oppose it, it keeps going. So I learned that the hard way, by the way. The action of the paddle pushing down on the side causes the water to push the boat to the side. But do it on both sides, the reaction is the boat goes forward. It's very simple. Until I